today the Holy Spirit put in my heart to preach and a topic it says here the baptism of the water, okay? There is the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire, as Jesus promised us. I find myself all these years working for the Lord that there is a little controversy about the water baptism. Every religion has their opinion about the baptism of the water. But let us see a few verses here to see what is Christ's opinion about that, okay? Mm -hmm. So therefore, we must visit here the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, and Jesus says to them, my Father has given to me all the authority in heaven and the earth. Meaning, our Heavenly Father gave to His Son 2,000 years ago, dominion in heaven and the earth. That's it. And 19 verses, he tells to his disciples, go all over the world and teach them. And then after that, baptize them in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Trinity. There is order and law, beautiful. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one. And teach them to keep whatever I tell you in the past. And this is the great promise. I shall be with you all the days until in the end. Wow. Listen, we must as Christians know that what Jesus says of his mouth is yes and amen. amen. So we must learn that this is the will of God, a person who makes a baptism of the water. But now is the problem. I find myself that my family baptized me as an Orthodox person in the church and give me name and religion. And then after he gives me a paper with a, a shot that goes to the government and the government gives me identity card that from now I'm an Orthodox person. I ask my grandfather, this is very important for me why you baptized me when I was one year old. I don't know nothing about God. Maybe I want to be something else. Why I have to baptize me? Who gives you that authority to baptize me? Because after I show here that Jesus accepts those who confess and repent and they submit them life and they go to baptize themselves in the water. Hallelujah. Amen. The answer of my grandfather was that. Oh, because many children pass away and it's better to baptize them. I said, listen, in a Christian family, if Jesus is a cover, the children is also covered. Yes. And if they pass away for some reason, they go to the Lord. Amen. Beautiful. Every a little child who pass away Jesus never is going to condemn people who they don't have enough intelligence to say yes or no. People appoint me to be a Christian person, but I find myself that I was not ready to follow the gospel. I was, like all of us, a sinful man, looking to please myself with wrong things, as many young people did today. They drink, they smoke, but in the identity card, they say Christian. And that is the problem now, because a real Christian person is somebody who commits his life to the Lord, who say, I'm sorry, Lord, for my mistake. And after that, you must accept Jesus as Savior. When you accept Jesus as Savior, the next step is not the baptism of the water. The next step is your deliverance from your past from the iniquity, from the generation curses, from obstacles, the enemy is enemy. Yeah. He needs the anointing to move from our life. Because if you baptize yourself in a child, it not means that Jesus knows you as a saved person. Uh, Matthew chapter 3, 13, 17. Matthew 3, 13 to 17. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan, unto John to baptize him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? 
And Jesus answered him and said, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becomes unto us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, the voice of the Lord said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Amen. 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 So Jesus was a human being according to his coming on the earth mm -hmm. in order to talk to us. He was already a heavenly person who comes to us for purpose. First, we don't see that his parents, Mary and Joseph, went to baptize themselves and give them name and religion. Jesus was about 30 years old before starting ministry to bring his message from heaven for us today, what we must do, right? We show that he chosen the great prophet, his name is John, who prophesies that this is the man who is going to be savior on this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, I have to humble myself, and he was to be to lift it up. Hallelujah. Amen. That's because Jesus said John was the great prophet. <laughs> because it's very difficult to see your cousin and say, well, this is a man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, it comes from the Holy Spirit, that information. But as human being, John was a little questionable and say, you are the living God. How I will baptize you? And Jesus says to him, let it be so now. It is the prophet for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Mm -hmm. Means I have to do that. Always he was an example to all of us today what we have to do. Mm -hmm. He baptized himself in this area full of water mm -hmm. and all disciples and apostles, they do that. Means if I follow Jesus, I have to follow what Jesus says about me. Mm -hmm. He is going to give me instruction, not religion. Mm -hmm. Religion takes right. and changes yeah. the heavenly law and change the Bible without permission from heaven. That's right. And that's a mistake. Yes. Jesus gives us freedom. Yes. All right, you want me? I'm going to come to you. You don't want me? Then pay your price for the mistake. That's because we need to teach people how to approach God today. Hallelujah. First yeah. Peter chapter 3, verse 21. <laughs> Jesus, after the cross, he goes to the grave, but by his spirit he was alive. <laughs> and the Bible says here, For it is better if the will of God also be so, that you suffer for well-doing, than do evil-doing. For Christ also had once suffered sin, the just of the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit by which also he went and preached unto the spirit in prisons, which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark of the preparing wherein few therein, eight souls were saved by water. The like figures whereunto even baptized doth also save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answering of a good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So listen, when Jesus was in the grave, he goes to talk to those who pass away the days of Noah. Why he goes there to do? There was a sinner, but I want to tell you, God is a good God. Amen. The days of Noah, Noah received a prophecy and instruction in his life to prepare the sperm of the human beings to go inside the ark mm -hmm. of Noah. He gives to him exactly plan and makes the perfect board. Mm -hmm. He goes in God's time inside to bring them salvation. The Bible says for the people was full of sins and corruption. Mm -hmm. So God shows in his spirit, these people are not good people. I want to prepare something new. All right? Mm -hmm. They pass away through the flu, mm -hmm. but was not in a law 
like you driving from New York to New Jersey, okay? If there is not Tambella to say, hey, be careful, 65, police cannot give you a ticket. Mm -hmm. Because there is not law to say, hey, don't drive in more than 65. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you drive in more, they will pay penalty. Mm -hmm. $150 and more. <laughs> That's not nice time. <laughs> but there was a law. That happened those days. Jesus goes to teach them that I am God. I am the creator who created all of you. Mm -hmm. And she preached them because there was not in law. Jesus penalized after the law of Moses. Okay. They give them 3,000 <laughs> law. Do that, don't do that. The Bible says no, nobody fulfill it except Jesus. <laughs> now, thank God, we are in the best will. The will of grace. Amen. It's not matter how many times you fell in your past. Mm -hmm. It's not matter how much mistakes you make. Mistakes are correctable. Mm -hmm. The most important is he loves you. Yes. And when sometimes Christian people, they have a little close heart after sin, full things, mm -hmm. mistakes to go back to the Lord and run. No, 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 no. Sometimes they say, oh, Jesus don't love me. I say somebody, Salem, you don't know Jesus. Go him, don't run from him. Go him, hug him by his spirit, and he's gonna forgive you. One day I was young, leader, I make a mistake. And this day somebody invited me in the church. I was feel very uncomfortable to go to preach. I tried to cancel. But Jesus sees in my heart that I make mistake, but I said, no, Mercy, I tell you, when I go to that church to preach, I preach as never before. Amen. Because I trust him that he is able to forgive me, to share upon me his precious blood. And after the preaching, I rejoice, I hug everybody. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hallelujah, it was an amazing time. I want to tell you something. When the influence of the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you can hug everyone, including your enemy. Yes. <laughs> Let's go back to the days of Noah, okay? <laughs> the days of Noah, those who pass away, Jesus goes there and teach them. Oh. And preach them those days. Because he's a God of righteousness. Jesus never penalized people when they don't know what the Bible says. He corrects us when we know the Bible and they do mistake. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's because Christianity, we have to be seven days a week the same people. Amen. No Sunday in the church. Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, hallelujah. <laughs> and Monday. <laughs> you know who I am? Huh? I do what I want to do. We have to be the same people. So the water bless those who was in the right side. They were not holy people. They have righteousness. They have salvation in the ark. The same today, there are churches and churches and churches, but Jesus created his church. And not the shofar of Noah shall bring all the animals. We are the animals spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> Who? The Holy Spirit is going to, to use the shofar and the voice of the Holy Spirit is going to bring into salvation the people. We shall be saved then. So we must go in that sense to be born again people under the covering. But you will not meet the Noah and his family. You will meet Jesus. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes Christians complain because they have obstacles, they have trials, they have tribulation. The Ark of Noah was not so nice place. It was not holiday in. Or Ramanda Plaza, you have a good mattress, you sleep, you snorrow. The animals bring dirtiness there, smelling. The Holy Spirit makes them for purpose to be useful. Like tiger drinks the milk 
of the sheep. Noah makes nice omelette, I believe, <laughs> from the kitchen. And this trip was not a small trip, was 545 miles until to go to Ararat. Means the day of the rapture, we shall be in the Zion, the spiritual Zion, who there are the new Jerusalem. We are already in the Ark of Noah. Oh, right. in the spiritual realm. And Jesus walk among us, so you have to rest and secure. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't, come over. Take words. What you will say, Jesus is going to accept you when it comes from the heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The 21 says here, the Peter, three chapters here, okay? The baptism of the water is not brings you the salvation. He says, but the answer of a good conscience toward to God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's it. The word of God gives us that word. Not the putting away of the fish of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, okay? Because he reason now, then you can reach your life again. Your life shall be resurrected with him. Hallelujah. And then, the big mistake is, the religion says, in the book of Acts 8, 12, but when they believe it, Philip's preaching, the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. Apostles and evangelists 2,000 years ago was an example today for us. When in the beginning 3,000 people repent, Jewish people, when he unlocked with the key that Jesus gave it to Peter, he unlocked the nation of Jews. They repent 3,000 people and after another two. All right, so those people, the apostles, they baptized them in the water, but men and women, not children. Right. That's because I'm not in agreement with any religion who baptized child for any reason. Men and women, Jesus wants your intelligence. When you come, exactly. like I was 28 years old, I say, what am I doing here in the sea? I repent. I'm sorry, Lord. I confess. Then he accepts me. He makes me after a new person. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a symbolic behavior. When you, you take a water baptism, you come like a new person. And the water represents the grave. You have to receive penalty from your mistake. But Jesus says, no, already I paid in full about you and Calvary. You don't have to do that now. Just baptize yourself and come up from the water a new person. Amen. Hallelujah. It's just another mistake from churches. Many years ago, I was in Philippines. And I was in an island for uh, preaching among the pastors and also to the people, and they accept the Lord. In the end of the day, before I come back to the United States, I said, tomorrow, I'm going to the ocean, I shall be there to baptize you. You want, it was some people, you said, yes, I will be there. But I was not comfortable because there was few people. I was not in the level of spirituality to understand. Of one or two or thousand is the same. I think, as a Greek man, that I'm smart. <laughs> and I said to those people, who comes tomorrow to baptize himself, I'm going to offer ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what happened? Three big trucks comes with people, you know, to baptize themselves. Actually, I don't baptize, I put the assistant to do that. Because Apostle Paul said, I don't baptize somebody. That's only one family. I was not happy. I said, Lord, something wrong with me. 
but I don't know what's going on. And the Lord in the night tells me, many of those who come to receive baptism of the water from you were still alive. Mm-hmm. Nobody passed away in the spirit to come a new person. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I want to show to the internet that I baptized a lot of people in this mission. I said, Lord, I'm so stupid to do that, I'm sorry. After God's intervention, it's very hard for me when people tell me, I'm going to baptize me, I have years to do that. Because I want to see you really repent. I want to see you are free. Oh, I visit a church one day, I stay back and I see baptism of the water. A lot of people. After the ceremony in the garden, somebody opened the cigarette. <laughs> I said somebody, yeah, I'm sorry. You baptize yourself to come out of the water, the new person. That, you put cigarette on your mouth so quickly? Yeah. Ignorant, what? what is the big deal? Why you go to baptize yourself? You don't come a new person, the same. That's you getting wet. That's the difference <laughs> of the water. So change clothes now. <laughs> That's such a mistake. Preachers must to sit down with the congregation to teach them. To make a vow to follow Jesus with all heart, mind and spirit. Then those who really repent and see the difference, go baptize them. So that's the mistake, okay? So we have another word. The same chapter was the eunuch who traveling through the wilderness to go back to his queen belongs and works with her. Beautiful, he reads the Bible of the book of Isaiah who says, what about Jesus? But the Holy Spirit sees him and tells him, go there and teach him. Philip said, do you understand what you read? I said, I need guidance. That's beautiful spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he guides him. Then after he feels inside that is a commitment person, I have to do something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they say, look at water here. Let's go there and receive a baptism of the water. And he comes up very happy man. New person in Christ. And he continues his work. And the Holy Spirit moves him to another place supernaturally mm-hmm. not any airline not nothing <laughs> we miss that miracles today hallelujah so i hope that you know you understand that it is the will of god to submit your life and to go to the baptism of the holy spirit but first did you know jesus Are you ready your heart to follow him with all your heart, mind and spirit? Then, submit your life in Christ and follow a church or follow a meeting or somebody who is able to guide you. You need mentor, you need a pastor, you need a church. Then after, go to the local authority and tell him, I'm ready to baptize himself. But before that, be careful. Because if there is some obstacles inside you and you battle with spiritual husband, spiritual wife and all of that, you must to receive deliverance. <coughs> because a preacher has to be a smart mm-hmm. and knows the word of God to say, okay, wait a little. Mm-hmm. I, see, I see you that you are not ready yet. Mm-hmm. We will do that after. John jump quickly. I saw in videos on the internet people traveling with a big evangelist into Jordan River. I tell you, it is good. Historically, it's good to go to Jordan River. Did Jesus involve there? Any river can be pressure. You can go to a little place in your house, put water, bloom inside, that's it. After Philippines that I tell you that my experience with Philippines, I went to Pakistan. Oh my God, I stay with them two weeks. I teach them. I show people fill it with the Holy Ghost. Then I, I baptize them, many people, and I show after comes from the water, they speak unknown tongues. 
Mm. Oh, some of them, maybe there was Muslim background. Yes, many of them was real Christian people, filled with the Holy Ghost. The pastor tells me, we are in this city, a lot of people Christians, they want to baptize. I say, okay, I prefer. So you must know, your before baptism of the water has not made sense in front of the place of the Lord, like me. Mm -hmm. I baptize myself when I accept Jesus in my heart as a savior and a local pastor in the city of Thessalonica. And when I was 29 years old about, and I feel a real, a new person. Just, I say, it's my time to be teachable now. And everybody rejoice. When the baptism of the Holy Spirit, or in the water, Jesus involved, you all shall be happy. I'm going to tell you, after it's a new experience. So Jesus says, I will don't penalize you. Just do it that. Amen? Amen. Amen.